What's up, brother man? Thank you for uh, ordering my gig here. So, you have a question. The question is, what is 12.5% of 95? And I want to kind of go through this, uh, do you a little bit of background for you, and then kind of show you a couple of extra examples. Now, first of all, to understand, oops, to understand um, fractions and percentages, we need to understand where a percentage even comes from. First thing, we need to remember what a fraction is. A fraction is just a part over a whole, all right? Now, a percentage is a special type of fraction. A percentage is what we have as a fraction, which could be any, you know, any number, out of a whole. And our whole is going to be 100, or like, okay, you know, it's all 100%. Because remember, if we say, hey, I gave 100%, that's your full maximum effort, right? So 100% is complete. So if we're saying there's a number out of 100, that's what we're going to say is, you know, like our percent. So I could say like 12% out of 100. Now, the difficulty comes, so if I say, you know, 15 out of 100, what percent is that? Well, if 100%, then it's just going to be 15%. Or if I ask, you know, 99 out of 100, what percent is that? It's 99%. Um, because, you know, all, if you think about it, you know, if you have 1% uh, means there's 100 of those percents add up to 100. So whatever number out of 100 is going to be your percent. Now, it gets a little tricky, though, when they say, well, maybe let's say my whole is not out of 100. Let's say my whole is a 95. Um, so, you know, this can come in like a, a test or something. There's only 95 points total. And if you earned a 12.5%, well, how many points did you earn? So what we need to do is when we're dealing with fractions and percentages, we always like to deal with it out of 100 because we're dealing with 100, um, 100 is your whole. However, in this equation, or in this problem, they're asking us to divide 12.5%. Now remember, I told you 12.5 is your percentage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write 12.5 out of 100, right? Because 12.5 out of 100 is your percentage out of your whole. So that's your part out of your whole, and those are both the percentages. And what they're asking you is, well, if 12.5% out of 100, what is that when my whole is 95, what is my part, which we call x? So what we've just created is a proportion. Here's your percentage, 12.5% out of 100, is equal to what part out of 95? And to solve proportions, we cross multiply. So I have 100 times x equals, and actually I didn't do this over here. So I'll take my calculator, I'll do 95 times 12.5. And what I have is, 1,187.5. Now, to solve for x, I'll just divide by 100. And when just divided by 100, you can see that your answer is going to be, or you can just move the decimal point over two spaces, which will be 11.875. Now, this is kind of the generic, longer way I wanted to show you, but I wanted to kind of explain maybe a little bit quicker way. So, a quicker way to look at this is if I have 12% of 95, what that means is, remember, 12.5% is a fraction. It's 12.5 out of 100. Now, when we're taking, um, when we have multiplying a fraction times a number, we just multiply across. So what you're doing is you're taking a fraction of another number. So you're just going to multiply. So what I can do is, instead of writing this as a fraction, I can write this as a decimal. So 12.5 divided by 100, remember, just move your decimal place over two points. So now I have a decimal, 1.25, jeez, point 0.125, okay, so now I converted it to a decimal, rather than using a fraction, I converted it to a decimal, and now I'm just going to multiply that across, so 0.125 of 95, and what you'll see is, is going to equal, so I'll type my calculator, is 0.125 times 95, equals 11.875. And what we can look at, and that, so that is, um, that is going to be the total out of 11.857%. Now if I take this answer, just to check my work again, if I say 11 of 875 divided by 95, right? My part out of my whole. So I do 11.875 divided by 95, and what I get is 0.125. Well, 
That's my decimal form. To put it as a percent would be 12.5%. Okay? So let's just go ahead and look at um, a couple examples. And or I guess to make this proportion true, guys, we know that this answer then is going to be 12.5. So I'll show you a couple examples because I said I'd do a couple more for you. And then, um, and then hopefully that gives you a good, good understanding of percentages. So let's say I ask you to do 5% of 56. Well, there's two ways you can do this. Convert this to a decimal, 0 0.05 times 56. Or you could say 5% out of 100 has to equal what number out of 56? So here you would cross multiply. So you'd have 5 times 56. equals 100 times x, divide by 100. So my decimal point's right here. So I just move it over, and I get 2.8 equals x. Meaning, or, so I multiply here, 0 0.05 times 56 equals 2.8. Meaning, 5 out of 100 is equivalent to 2.8 out of 56. And the last one is, let's say I had um, what percentage is 18 out of 29? So if I ask you what percentage is 18 out of 29, that means I want to know what number out of 100, because remember, out of 100%, what number would x have to be? So what is the percentage? 18 out of 29 is what percent? So again, I can cross multiply. So I'd have 18 equals 29x, divide by 29, and what I obtain is x equals 62%. If you didn't want to do this with your, uh, if you didn't want to do this by, um, by using your calculator, you can just divide 18 divided by 29. 18 divided by 29 equals 0.62, and then 06, but I'll just round it to 0.062, and then I could say multiplying by, by 100 would move it over there, so it would be 62%. All right, man, I hope this uh, video helped you out. Um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to uh, email message me, and I'll be more than happy to go through. But that's how you work with percentages and, um, and fractions. Thanks, bud.